Hello my friend, what do we need to create a game? Well, we need some images, sounds, well, visuals, textures that will represent our game. And normally you would need to start from learning all the skills that are needed to do that, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to put here anything, right? But fortunately for us, there are now lots of websites that offers free, free, look here, price, free, resources like for example this one wow and it can look good as you can see this is just awesome looking to the graphics and it is under the cc0 license which means you don't even need to mention these people and you can distribute remix adapt build up on the material in any made medium or format even for commercial purposes you can click and read the license here for more info. So this is the best license. You don't need to even mention them, right? However, of course, I think that it would be, um, you know, good thing to mention somebody who made such a good work if you had made a game within a word like this, right? And you can start creating right now because, well, you go here, you choose, oh, I want some music. Let's see what's here in the free section. I need some fonts for my, okay. I need the user interface. Okay, so I download something from here and I need some sprites, so some uh, visuals images. Okay, the sprite is just different name for visuals in your game. And wow, so many options here, right? Choose something from here and just start your journey without having to worry. And on the, on, you need to only hit here, download. You don't need to pay uh, them anything, but I think it's a good idea to pay if you're gonna use it in your game later and you know have some money from it. So people like that will create more content. As you can see, they created lots of more content here for free, awesome. And after downloading it, all you need to do is what? Extract. Wait a second, 500 elements. Imagine how much work you would need to do to do such thing, right? And how do we use it now in our project? And this is the first thing you're gonna learn now in this course regarding the engine. We've got here file system, and this is the place where we put any files that are connected to this project, right? So we want this folder to be moved here. And when I put it here, as you can see, it's in our file system of the project game that we are working on. And uh, what now? Well, now we need to, well, open the folder and we can use all the things from here, right? In the game. But before we do that, we're gonna need to learn a few more things. However, let's focus on this thing, file system. In order to create a new folder here, because you need to start organizing since the start things here, because, well, as you can see, lots of things can be connected to your game, not only, you know, the uh, assets, but also, for example, in future, something what is called scenes and scripts, you could get lost in this. So you're gonna need to know how to create new folders. So right click, create new folder, and we're gonna create here something what is called assets. And this is the folder where we're gonna put things that we're gonna use in our game from this folder, okay? So we want to use something like factions, knights, troops, warrior, and here we can choose the color of our warrior. So for example, let's say I want the red one and I'm gonna move this here into assets, okay? So this is the place, this is the asset. And when I open it, as you can see, lots of, you know, animations are here that we can put in our game we, that we can use. Very cool how to use all these things in future lectures. But main thing is that we sorted it, right? We have got now here assets, right? We can sort it even further, but we'll do it later. Um, uh, but for now, I would like to give you an exercise. Everything that I do, in each lecture, including this one, you must do instantly or after the lecture. Why? Because even though all the things that I did here seem simple, right? Because, hey, I just needed to do what? Oh, okay. So I needed to just find something here uh, and download it and just open, extract things and put it here. That's like nothing. But believe me that there will be lots of things that we're gonna do inside the game engine. And if you finish this course without doing what I do, 
you're gonna open the game engine and you will have an empty head because our mind because of how many we've got videos now a days uh, on youtube on tiktok and other social media works like that okay i've just watched it they do a school i've got a dopamine head and well let's forget it because there's just so much information but if you decide now to you know okay it's time to stop uh, i need to you know uh, re reinforce my uh, you know manual thinking like hey i need to click here then here okay that it's gonna stick in your mind that hey it's important he did a bit more than normally right <laughs> he didn't just watch this so you have to watch what i what i s say but also implement it which means do it you learn by doing not by watching no 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 that's not enough you do you learn by doing and also noting so whatever you've just learned like for example hey what are assets ah okay so these were images sounds and visuals file system okay note it down file system is a, a place in our go.engine where i'm gonna put my files what else did I run? I think I said something about sprites, not sure. Okay, so here is sprite. So this is the different word for what? Generally to do images used in games to represent objects, right? Ah, oh, okay, so that's it. And you should write it down on your own. Try to think like what words would you use to describe these things, right? So practice, 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 because of practice you're gonna become a game developer. Watchers do not become bad developers. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. <laughs> have a good day.